Hi there, my name is Jay from Blackmagic Design, and today we're going to be looking at how we can stream from ATEMs that support it, such as the ATEM SDI and ATEM Mini range, and then stream an RTMP stream out to a platform such as YouTube. So today I'm going to be demonstrating using YouTube, but we do support other platforms. So first of all, within YouTube we need to create a live stream, which I have here. And a bit of information that's really useful to us here is right here where it says streaming key. We're going to copy that and we're going to come back to that later. Because our ATEM is connected to our computer over the network and into uh, the internet, we have here ATEM software control. On the right hand side, we have the outputs and it says live stream. If we click live stream, we can see that we support many different platforms, but today we're in YouTube. Server. Now, YouTube allows you to send a primary and a secondary stream, which means that if for whatever reason one of them drops out it, or starts to cut back, it can switch between those two. Now, this is a really useful feature, which means you can have, let's say, your ATEM SDI Extreme ISO connected to the network with your primary stream. For your second stream, we could maybe have a web presenter, which is connected over 4G which means that if your primary stream drops down for whatever reason, including um, the internet in your building not being the best, then it will flip over to that 4G connection. So because we're just sending one stream, we're gonna to go to primary here. And here where it says key, we're going to paste in the key that we just copied out of YouTube. Now streaming quality, you'll see here we have streaming high, medium, and low. Because we have a pretty good internet connection here in the building, we're gonna go for streaming high, but you may need to drop that down in case you don't have the best internet speed or um, if you're starting to see um, things starting to drop out. So now we have our platform set, our server set, our key set, and all the quality we're streaming at. So we can now click on air. You'll see here that the on air light has started to illuminate on the hardware. Instead of clicking that on air button in the software, I could have clicked that one there. And the same at the end, I can click stream off there or off on our software. You also see here in the multi-view that our stream is going out at about nine megabits per second and that our cache is okay. That is a good sign and means that our stream is leaving us a good quality. Go back to YouTube, we'll see here that our streaming connection is an excellent connection and that we are streaming out to the world. If you require any further information, please contact us at blackmagicdesign.com.